Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. You've probably heard of the Mütter Museum, which is here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I've been wanting to come here for many years. It has a lot of displays of medical maladies, all sorts of skeletons and bodily and facial abnormalities and most of them are not actual body parts but they're casts and molds made from actual people who had these maladies. And Mr. Mütter collected these for many many years and then finally put it all into the museum. Now one problem is this museum has a policy of no photography in most of the museums. Some areas you can, but most of the really important parts <laughs> you can't. So I'm going to do it anyway though, but very sparingly and I'm going to have to check around and make sure nobody's watching so I don't get kicked out of here. So I'm going to show you just a little bit of what I think I can. Plus a lot of what they have may be too gruesome. <laughs> for this video and if you're real sensitive to that you may not want to uh, watch much of it and it's a type of museum where it doesn't show I think very well on video it's more if you come in here in person to see it you get a much much better experience up close with these things a lot of them are just uh, like I said body parts in in jars with solutions and it's kind of hard to video. But I'm gonna do the best I can, so come on in with me, and I'll show you what the Mütter Museum is like. This is the man whose collection was used to start the museum. Here are some forceps used in childbirth, and these were used to practice on for the students. And even breast pumps have now gone wireless. <laughs> Here is some liquor used for medical purposes. Those skin disorders I just showed you are all wax models. They're really strict about photography in most areas of the museum. So I'm gonna have to be a little sneaky here. It's a nice collection of skulls. There's some little bottles of medicine from the old days and you see these stones in this bottle those are all kidney uterine and bladder stones here's another item of facial maladies There's an autopsy kit. It's a paper mache shave and eyeball. Got somebody's brain here. And this frontal section of head. I've seen worse photos of smoker lungs than this. There is a way to tell a female from a male skeleton. I forgot just what it is, but I was in another museum. I think it was, or maybe it was somewhere online <laughs> where they explained it. And here is a diseased example of ribs. And there's that. 
Here's a skeleton with spine disease. Look at that. That's it. I'm trying to not talk here <laughs> to not attract attention. Here's a cast of twins joined at the hip. Here are casts of some eye abnormalities. These two are the worst. <laughs> Wow, that's about a foot and a half wide. Here's an extreme example of what diabetes can do. Then off to the side here is this garden next to this big church. It's the Benjamin Rush Medicinal Plant Garden. Let's take a look around. I think most medicines do originate from plants. And that's what this is about. And each one has a tag here saying what it is and what it's used for. Kind of plants you wouldn't be growing in your backyard. <laughs> Well, if you have one of these maladies, that's what you need right there. What amazes me is that somehow people were able to figure out what different uses these plants had. Man. That must have taken a heck of a lot of experimenting. They're pretty much all just greenery like this, but they're all a little bit different, of course. Well, folks, that is about it. I only showed you inside the building a little bit here and there, some of the things that I thought was more interesting. And then I had to really be careful nobody was looking <laughs> when I did the videos. That's why I didn't do much narrating. If you're in the medical field particularly, I think you would really enjoy coming by and seeing this when you're in Philadelphia. Well, I hope you got something out of the video. Good day, folks.